Calibration of the Medfusion 3500 from Smith Medical. So, turn it on. Dun, 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 dun. It's important. Right here, your version information. This is the, be the latest software. And what you need in order to do the uh, software upgrade for the recall if you have the PharmaGuard software. Anyway, so, there's a normal screen. Your screen may look different depending on what software you've got and what settings you have. But anyway, just press more and more until you get this screen, Biomed, 2, password, it's nice and easy, right down the middle, 2580, enter. All right, one, calibration. So we're gonna start with calibrate syringe size uh, and position, number one. Now what this does, this calibrates both the syringe size sensor and the syringe position sensor. The syringe size sensor is this, also known as a barrel clamp. So depending on the size of syringe you use, is how far out this would be. See this number changes? Okay. And next is the syringe position sensor, which is this guy right here. It's in here, it's internal, it tells how much is left in the syringe. So for this, we're gonna start with the little guy. So remember I put it down. So these are small. In, boom, boom. Lock on. Now that I have placed it in here, as you can see, let's continue. Now it's going to come and says low standard again. So for the second one, hold the flippers open, this knob here, and then press continue. And then next we want to set up the high stand. So now we set up the little guy, put in the big one. Now we're gonna press um, in there, as far as we can. Continue. Do it this way again. Hold the flippers open. You press it in as much as you can. Continue. And there we go. That is cal size and position. Next will be cal force sensor. Calibrate the force sensor. For this part, this is our force dial. And we're gonna use to calibrate the force sensor. Make sure there's nothing in there. There we go. There's nothing in there in the screen. Blood zero. Wait, is this? So, let it do its zeroing process. It takes a little bit. Now that our clock has run out, it's about 40 seconds. Press enter to keep that in there. And now for the highest. So, I want our force gauge. Let's zero it. Boom. There we go. Uh, it's not quite zero, but we'll see. So I can place this on here. Yes. Her. Barrel clamp pushed down here. This is kind of a square cutout, you see. So if you place like that, and the flippers, press against. Now we're going to adjust this knob until this gets to about 10 pounds. Press continue. And that is that. Okay, so that was the calibration. Um, when you're done, make sure you save, changes, and exit. I'm gonna do this all over again. And that's it. There's your calibration. Uh, there's no point in doing logical safety because you don't have a ground pin. In case you haven't noticed. A double isolated device. There you go, see two squares, square and a square, double isolated. So there's no electrical safety.
Uh, the only other thing you can do, I mean, if you had an IDA, that'd be great. You can put a syringe in here, load 60 milliliters, uh, run through your IDA to check uh, time, well, rate, and accuracy. If you don't have an IDA, you can get a graduated cylinder, which mine's disappeared again, and you can load a syringe with 60 cc's or 60 milliliters of water or whatever, hook it up, put in the syringe, and just time it and make sure the timer is working correctly and that you're getting the 60 in there. That's it, good luck. Now, I should know when you're done with the PM, you should go utilities and make sure that it's set for at least a year from now. Otherwise, it's going to alarm and your customer's gonna complain, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, entering the date, let's just do year from today, into the year first, so it's going in. Uh, what are we at, year of the month? And today is the 8th. You could generally do the end of the month, whatever. Um, so I don't know when you're going back. Enter, and there you go. And that is the end. Um, so after all this, I'm just going to do a quick test. Yeah, I have a 15 milliliter. But I also know where my 60 line is. Um, so, you know, 1, BD, BD. This is what's in this library. Not everybody has this, but BD. D bronze. I don't know. This person knows Terumo and Monoject. As you will notice, there is no Henry Schein. There is no McKesson. There's none of these other companies that just slap their name on stuff. So you really can't use their syringes on this system. One to 60. Sure. How much I want? 240. So we're going to go four to the right. So I know it takes 15 minutes. And that's it. Next up, I'm going to run along from here to the graduated cylinder. There we go. We're now running. Okay, we're actively running. There's our setup. Climb the tube if you want accurate results. Uh, when he's wondering why I've got this guy on here, because you should also check occlusion. Occlusion is important. So, let's call some occlusion. again and we're off and good. There we go. When it's done, the volume you have in here you should see over here. You can read it there to verify. If you've got a timer you can run it. If I'm doing 240 milliliters an hour at 60 milliliters total then that breaks down to 15 you know uh, minutes for the whole thing to run. Give or take you know the time used for the occlusion testing.